So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, very quickly find the correct number of samples to use um, when setting up the render. So it's important because if you use too many samples then the render will take much longer than needed and if you use too few samples then when the render finishes it will still be noisy. So the first step is to, after you've set up your cycles as the render engine, uh, GPU mode is the fastest, is to set your viewport samples to 1 and then turn on shaded mode in the viewport so that it's using cycles to render the viewport and then after one sample take a look at the result and, and try and sort of uh, find the noisiest parts of the image and the monkey in this case looks reasonably clean um, the cube is the noisiest I would, I would say particularly this top corner and the corners, the edges of the uh, glass sphere have also got quite a lot of little white fireflies um, scattered around it so I would say this area and this area is the noisiest so I want to isolate those so that I can more quickly find uh, the maximum number of samples needed to clean up the noisy parts because I know that if I've cleaned up the noisy parts I will definitely have cleaned up the non noisy parts so I press Control and B and then I'll uh, isolate just these noisy sections and then with those isolated I want to change the viewport uh, samples to something quite high and I'm using square samples in this scenario if you're using if you're not using square samples then you'll need to take your uh, number quite high quite a lot higher than I do so once I've put the samples in here if you look at the top left hand corner it's going to show us the number of samples it's currently on out of the total samples so I'll change this to 500 which should end up as 250,000 samples because it's going to square that number and if you look at the top corner we've got it's going to render 250,000 samples and currently it's on sample 200 and well 300 now um, whereas if I just press control alt and B you'll notice look at the speed now that it's uh, sampling at much slower so that's going to take a long time for us to find the correct number of samples to use so control B and then just I'll reselect the noisy areas uh, probably around about there now what I want to do is look at the image and notice the uh, when the image stops changing and when the image stops changing it means that it's reached the as clean as it's going to get it's not going to get any cleaner so at the moment I've got clamping turned on which is making it to render a lot faster but I'll just turn those off to zero and now you'll notice that it's actually taking quite a bit longer to clean up so we're still getting um, in fact that's really fast why is that so fast? Ah, oh, number of bounces, let's change that to 128 there we are so it's a lot noisier now which is what I want for this example um, okay so keep an eye on the render wait for the we'll notice if we look at this part you get in green specks appear and then sometimes disappear so just keep an eye out this seems to be the area where there's most activity and wait for this activity to stop okay so it's still a small amount of activity just uh, little dots appearing here and there but it's getting a lot less frequent and I would say at this point there's hardly any change at all so I'd look at the samples and it was about around about 620 when I looked across so what I'll do now is I'll stop the render by changing the viewport samples to something low like 10 um, and now I want to change this number here which is the total number of samples it's going to use in the final render to 
be 600 and I think 620 I said so I want this to say 620 so I'll change the render samples now which is what controls this figure I'll change that to 10 that's given us 100 so I'll try 15 that's 225 try 20 that's 400 22 484 and now what I'll do is rather than keep guessing I'll use the up arrow at the right hand side of the render samples input box so if I just keep clicking that you'll notice the number is now going up every time I click and I want to keep clicking that until it gets to around about 620 so once I've arrived at 25 here it's arrived at 625 total samples and that means that when we render it will render uh, 625 samples and ensure that all areas of the render are as clean as possible so what I'll need to do is um, just go into this output properties box and change render region turn that off so render region is what we drew onto the viewport by pressing Control and B so we can either uncheck this box or alternatively we can press Control alt b which will do the same thing so now everything's enabled and it will render the full scene using the uh, most e efficient number of samples that we arrived at using that quick technique to isolate just the noisy parts and uh, yeah so that's it um, in the next video I'll show you how you can uh, speed your renders up even further uh, using a few tricks uh, in the render settings but also in the materials as well so keep uh, keep tuned for that one uh, subscribe and uh, like and thanks for watching I'll, I'll see you next time